Hey guys, uh, just wanted to give you the current update on the bike. Everything's pretty much together. I've got uh, I've got the exhaust to do yet. Uh, I got all the wiring to do still, all the plumbing and the uh, clutch and throttle cables to go. Uh, but everything's pretty much in its mock-up stage as far as uh, assembly. I have to take everything back down, put uh, thread lock and everything. Um, if, if I had done this before, I could have assembled it the first time right. Um, but really, I'm just trying to find parts and put it all together to make sure it's all in the correct sequence. So, um, But everything's pretty much done. I'm going to take you through here and show you uh, some, uh, some more work that I got done here, some more parts that I got on the bike. And... Uh, probably have more questions for zero there. I got the front axle on. Um, I mean, it, it took a few times to figure out the, the sequencing of the spacers on the front, but uh, I think I have it with the caliper. Uh, the caliper looks okay, mounted on the rotor now, so that's going to be the uh, next step. Uh, still got to do the primary, get that going. It's mounted on, but nothing's bolted up yet, so we got to get on that. Got the seat, got the uh, got the rear fender mounted, not the brass one yet. I'm just I'm just mounting up the stock one for now so I can see where to cut the the brass fender. I may have to order the longer version of the fender um, to fit the the tail light mount with the uh, fender strut. But let me take you around the bike here. I'll show you the uh, the work that was done here so. Okay, so here's the rear fender all mounted up. See it uses some uh, rubber grommets there with some washers on the back side. Yeah, the brass fender I have only goes to like right here with the lower mount where it's at. So I may have to get a longer fender and sell that one or keep it for another project. I did figure out the, uh, the oil bag mount um, the back side or the, or the battery, the battery mount is what uh, actually holds that in place. I'll show you the other side here. I got the uh, after hours choppers, uh, air cleaner cover on there. Looks pretty nice. Um, nothing against the big S&S &S, uh, teardrop shape, but I think this takes away some of the chrome. Gives it a better look overall. I will have to find a solution for uh, pulling the choke, which is right here. The Super E carb, the teardrop has a little choke lift that's on, that's mounted on the back plate actually. So I have to figure out something for that. Uh, I got the controls on, the rear brake master cylinder there. Uh, got the pegs. The only thing I'm missing is the uh, is the screw for the um, for the actual brake lever. I got the spring installed. I need to install the piston for the uh, rear brake master cylinder, but it's all in the frame, set to go. Take the other side here. We've got the left controls. I don't have the kickstand installed just yet. I will have to buy a brake pedal and linkage to go back to the transmission there. Uh, you can see the battery box. It's all mounted up. These use a rubber grommet, uh, so it's it's floating a little bit. And then there's a bottom plate that installs in the in the bottom there. But you can see right here is where that I said that oil bag tab was off for the frame. It actually this attaches to the frame, and then this is spaced off of the uh, of the battery box mount there. Did get the new seat. I think it looks a lot better. It's a dark brown leather, nice and stitched. Still have to uh, figure out something for the spring attachment to the seat. I don't want it scratching up the leather, so probably put some washers under there and get it get it uh, captured. I don't know if you can see. Yep, there's the zero stamp on the bottom of the leather there. Really nice leather, super thick, super thick stuff. We got the front here. There's the brake attached. A little that. Let me set up the tripod and I'll uh, I'll go through the uh, front washer spacer sequence here. 
Alright, so this side I started with, uh, here's the axle right here. You can see how much more I've got to pull the, uh, the forks in to get that uh, in the correct spot. Um, there's a spacer right here next to the offset spacer that's uh, screwed onto the hub. That's, the, uh, that's on the right side of the motorcycle. For the left side on the rotor, we've got our brass spacer here. We've got the thin washer with the adhesive backing on it right here. I'm not sure the orientation which way that goes. We've got the brake mount right here. We've got the rubber o-ring and the sleeve goes in between um, right here. And then there's the, of course the sleeve is inside the brake, um, the brake mount. And then the uh, the bigger, the larger, wider sleeve is actually in between, pressed against the brass, and then pressed on onto this spacer here, which goes to the outside of the fork. Um, that's the best way I could figure out how to get it going. It's the only way I could get the the uh, brake rotor spacing correct. Uh, the pads are touching just the right spot. So that's it for today. Uh, that's all the updates I have for you guys. I will be. Uh, Disassembling some parts, making sure I got the torque correct on the, a lot of the bolts and hardware, make sure I got thread lock on everything, start getting everything back together. Still got to work on the primary, get that back going. Uh, other than that, it's coming all together. I should be riding her about a month or so here. Hopefully, I can get some help from uh, there's a local shop uh, as far as running brake lines and, and uh, throttle and clutch cables. That's maybe my weak point. I can I can plumb everything, it's just ordering the correct lengths and everything like that. So I'll probably have a shop help me with that stuff. But as far as the assembly goes, it's it's pretty much ready to go. I'll probably have the shop help me with some wiring too. I, I don't have a problem soldering anything, but you know, running clean wires and, and making sure everything's hooked up correctly is where I should probably get help with that so I don't mess anything up. Uh, the rear brake master cylinder, I need help with that as well, I don't understand how the um, the plunger goes in and out correctly. I can't see how, um, I was messing with it last night when I was installing it. I don't I don't see how it actually engages, so. Um, I'll probably get help with that too, or do some research on forums or something to make sure I understand that correctly so that it doesn't get screwed up. But everything else is coming together. Uh, tank, I'm still unsure as far as the finish on the tank. I'll probably, I saw a picture of a guy who had a he had polished the aluminum tank and it looked really good on there so may try that that could be a quick little fix I uh, may paint it but I'm not I'm not sure I've still haven't decided yet rear fender uh, I may keep the stock one for now and figure out the brass later so I may just shoot that with some uh, spray paint get it black and uh, go from there but uh, she's coming together so I'm really excited it's really come together a lot faster than I thought it would. So still need some help with a few parts here and there, but uh, overall, I think she's really good. Uh, so I'll leave you with that and uh, come back at you with a new update when it's time. See you later, guys. Thanks for following. Bye.